So psoas, we've got the actions, um, hip flexion, lateral rotation. Okay, so let's say Sarah is my client that's come in and he's got this pain and that mechanism of injury, he's stuck in hip flexion. Hopefully straight away we're starting to think about the muscles that not only flex but also extend the spine. Um, so we're starting to think, you know, what's caused this pain, what's likely gone into spasm. Okay, so nice and right simple we say. So I'm going to just bring the hip into a fairly neutral position because I want to be able to make improvements on this monitor. Okay, and then we're going to find it in the crest. Okay, just there. And then we're going to head in. We don't need to be skin to skin. We can just go through because it's just a monitor. Okay, so deep breath for me and breathe out. Okay, and we're just going to press in just slightly. Okay, I want you just to lift your leg slightly away from me. Okay, and then relax. Okay, so I can feel a mild contraction there, but I'm not overly deep. How does that pressure feel, okay? I get fine, yeah. Okay, so deep breath in, we're going to go a little bit deeper. And breathe out. Okay, and then lift, lift your leg slightly. Okay, I can feel the contraction there. Yeah. yeah, okay, and relax. So what number would you say that pain is there? Pain's right now, yeah. like one, should I say five? Yeah, okay. Like it's okay because if the person says one and it's like an invasive technique like so it is, yeah. we don't really want to be putting too much pressure down into the abdomen. Okay. Um, so what we can do is just say, if it's a one, fine, and as it eases, let me know. And then I can also go by my feedback as to what I can feel. Okay, cool. And then we'll just find the position to use there. But we know that to fully shorten the muscle, we've got a lot of room to flex it, we've got a lot of room to naturally rotate as well. Okay? So we found roughly where we want to be. So nice and relaxed, but I'm going to put myself in a better position with hand gripping the back of the knee and arm there. And what that does is it allows us to get into that lateral rotation nice and easy. Okay, so nice and relaxed. Iliac crest in towards the belly button. Deep breath in and breathe out. Okay, lift your knee towards your chest slightly and relax. Okay, so I'm back on the spot. Number? One, two. Okay, good. Okay. So nice and relaxed for me. Good, and as Sarah breathes out, I'm just gonna move into that hip flex position. Has that eased a bit there? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. which we would expect it to because it's so as it's shortened, we flex the hip. Okay, and now it's time to actually rotate. Eased or increased? That's actually slightly increased, but okay. it's not really bad, it's not bad. Yeah, I mean it can do sometimes, but like I said, it's not always the most fully shortened position. So what we're going to do is use that plane of motion to see where it's at its easiest. Okay, so let me know. I'm going right there, I think. Yes, yeah, like a midway point. Yeah. If I go further, yeah, I can feel that tension kicking a bit there. So about midway. Yeah. Okay. All right, and then I don't know. Depending on the client, depending on the position, maybe if we were in sideline, we could think about lateral flexion of the spine as well. Um, but we're not. So we're just going to leave it there. Okay. So we found the position of ease. Probably a bit more room for hip flexion there as well. Actually, isn't there? To be fair. Nice and relaxed for me. You relax. Sorry. Nice and relaxed. Deep breath in, and out. Okay. I'm happy with that there, are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. very happy. Okay. So I can take my hand away now and just focus on keeping them nice and relaxed and secure in that position. Okay, so hold it for 90 seconds. All right, Sarah's very, what we would call, helpful. So Sorry. I've got a feeling that she's gonna help me move the leg back into position. So I want you to stay nice and relaxed, okay, while I do so. We'll say that 90 seconds has passed because we won't keep you here the whole time. Um, and what I'll get them to do is, on an exhalation, then we'll start to move because the body's naturally be more relaxed today. Okay, so deep breath in for me. And when you breathe out, I'm just going to return this leg to position, so nice and relaxed for me. Okay, so lateral, latch, medial rotation first. And then make sure you're fully supporting the limb. Nice and relaxed for me. Fully down. So what the nervous system's doing during that period of passive movement back to neutral is it's, it's kind of assessing the point of trauma, so the degree of hip flexion that that injury occurred, and it's basically looking out for any signs of mechanical damage. So what you're doing is taking it through and past that range, demonstrating to it that everything's fine, um, and that's why this can get such immediate results, I think. Okay? Thank you. All right. Could you put your side facing that way for me? It's not over yet. I'm good. <laughs> okay, so we can do the same thing in the yoga desk position as well. So if you just shuffle back towards me a little bit. Okay, I want to make this nice and easy for yourself. So legs up to here for me, so hips nice and flexed. Okay, 
Okay, so let's bring this label to a neutral position. Okay, we might be looking more at Iliacus here. Okay, so make sure that you're in a good sturdy position. I've actually got my tummy up against Sarah's backside basically to keep her nice and stable so that she doesn't feel like she's going to go anywhere. Okay, hand underneath, not over the top, I've seen quite a few people do that. So hand underneath, tuck the leg into the side. Okay, let's find the iliac crest. I'm going to go more into iliac here. Okay, so let's start in a neutral position, so we're extended, but no rotation. Okay, so pull into my knee into hip flexion. Okay, now relax. Discomfort there? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. I can feel that contract under my fingers, so I know that I'm on something that flexes the hip anyway. Okay, so nice and relaxed for me. Let's go with hip flexion first. Feel that ease. You feel yeah. ease? Yeah. Okay, nice and relaxed for me. Just totally relaxed. Okay, and then we can go with lateral rotation as well. Again, I can feel that kind of increase there a bit. Yeah. There's a bit of tension kicking yeah. in. Yeah. Okay, so we'll stay neutral for it. Nice and relaxed. If they feel like they're starting to tense up, just a bit of passive movement, limb rocking can work nicely. Okay, into hip flexion. Quite nice and easy for Sarah because it's just hip flexion at the end. Okay, and so we need to make sure now that we're in a good position, we can hold for 90 seconds. Okay, and then we're going to hang out there for 90 seconds. Nice and relaxed for me. Deep breaths. 87, 88, 89, 90. Okay, nice and relaxed. While we take you back to a neutral, neutral position, okay? Deep breath in and breathe out. Okay, so remember what you're doing and why here. We're taking it past that point of initial injury and allowing the nervous system to suss things out and to make sure that everything's fine. Okay, good. All right, feel okay?